Hey there, Seekers of Style Lounge and all that good stuff. Joe here from Style by Joe with What's in Joe's Mouth Basic Edition. So now I've done what tools you should have in the kitchen. I've done what knives you need to start off with and, and how to basically use them. So today I'm going to be doing pots and pans. But before I get into that, you know, I, I started as style. I started as this. But to me, cooking either for yourself or for somebody else more importantly is so important. When I cook, I know what's going into my food. I know what I like and you can tailor it to that. If you have kids, it's important to get them in the kitchen. But let me tell you, nothing shows love more than cooking for somebody, more than being able to take care of somebody like that. And guys, here's a tip for you. Guys that cook look sexy, but we also look like we care. So going into that, here are the basics of what pots and pans I think you should need. Everybody needs a non-stick skillet. If you are looking to cook healthy, this is going to be your go-to. You need very little oils, very little fats. I recommend actually three. You should have an 8-inch, a 10-inch, and a 12-inch. To take care of these, you need either a wooden, a plastic, or a silicone uh, utensil. That way you're not going to be scratching the bottom of these and they last longer. Once it starts to scratch and that surface comes up, ditch them. Nobody wants extra bits in their food that aren't supposed to be there. The next item, and some people are scared of this, because, and I get it, is a good old-fashioned cast iron pot. These are absolutely amazing. You can get them screaming hot, which scares people. I get it. Heat scares people, but nothing is going to brown a steak, a pork chop, better than cast iron. You're going to season this with a little bit of oil and I'm actually going to at a later date do how to properly take care of these. But a good old-fashioned cast iron pan will, if you buy them when you're in your early 20s, will last you a lifetime. You could possibly turn them down or uh, turn them on to your children. Pass them on to your children. A next item which I personally use a lot is a good, heavy Dutch oven, which is neither Dutch or an oven. But you can use these on stovetop, and if you get a good quality one, you can even put them into a oven. And they are a complete workhorse. You can do stews in here, you can do casseroles in here. You can keep things, because it's heavy, keep them warm for a prolonged period of time. Next is your saucepans and your stock pot. Now, you want stainless steel or a heavy quality aluminum. Make sure that they have a lid to it that fits properly. If it's loose, it's not gonna heat up as well. For this, I would recommend a two and a half and a four quart. You can do your eggs in there, you can do sauces in there, you can poach in there. In here, you're going to be doing things like stocks, soups, your pasta. You want an 8 to a 10 quart. Any bigger than that, you're going to be doing like your lobsters and that. And if you're doing lobsters, you don't need this video. Next, <sighs> scares me to death, but your baking pants. Now, this is a cookie pan. It's lightweight. It's a light colored aluminum or steel. Light will conduct the heat. When you get the dark ones is when they uh, reflect the heat and it's not gonna bake as well. This is a jelly pan. Started out a little bit large, lighter. You can see it getting darker. I use this for so many different applications. Um, and again, people are doing like the sheet pan recipes. This is basically what you want. I line it with aluminum, throw the aluminum away when it's dirty, you know, after you're done cooking, clean up on this as a breeze. Next are baking dishes. I really like the glass. I think they work well. This loaf pan you can do your meat loaves in there. You can do some fancy uh, like vegetables in there. Casserole dish. Obviously, casseroles. 
I do also have this one. Um, it's a coated metal one. I love it because it looks kind of fancy. I know, right? But anyway, and the last item that I can't do without is a crock pot or a slow cooker. And this is the one that I love. Again, don't get uh, kickbacks from them, but this is a Hamilton Beach one. And what I love so much about this one is this has a, a uh, cast iron insert that I can take out and I can actually sear my meats in here instead of having to do it on a separate dish and then transferring in there and hoping I get all the flavor components that are like, you know, the brown bits in the bottom of the pan. So again, this has been Styled by Joe, What's in Joe's Mouth, Basic Kitchen Edition. So I've done the knives and how to hold them and how to chop. I've done the kitchen utensils and now I've done pots and pans. Joe here from Style by Joe, which of course is my YouTube channel that by now you have subscribed to, right? If not, why don't you go ahead and do that? Style by Joe is also my Instagram. Style you by Joe is my Facebook and my Twitter. Folks, stay stylish and please pass these videos on to your friends because they deserve to be just as stylish and knowledgeable as you are and uh, I need my subscriptions to go up. Have a stylish day. I'll talk to you soon.